Let's go to Matthew 18, 23 through 35. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king, which would take account of his servants. So in 23, it is going to begin to tell you how the kingdom of heaven is. So it is going to tell you a parable. Okay. 24. So this certain story. So I should have the definition up. Yeah. Define parable. Parable, a simple story used to illustrate a moral or spiritual lesson as told by Jesus in the Gospels. teach let's go to Matthew 18 23 through 35 to the left is the King James Version to the right is the expanded Bible <clears throat> Therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king which would take account of his servants. So you may be asking me, what is going on? What are you reading? Now, in this section here, we are going to go through a parable. And you may ask, what is a parable? <clears throat> okay. A simple story used to illustrate a moral or spiritual lesson as told by Jesus in the Gospels. <clears throat> so, it is going to tell you a simple story to illustrate something that we need to understand. And it is going to make more sense as I go through it. So therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king which would take account of his servants. So this story or this illustration is about a king and taking an account of his servants, basically. 24. And when he begun, or he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him which owed him ten thousand talents. So the king was going through his accounts and he found out that one servant owed him ten thousand talents. So this servant owed him a lot of money. 25. But for as much as he had not to pay, his Lord commanded him to be sold and his wife and children and all that he had and payment to be made. So the servant did not have that type of money. So the king was going to sell him, his wife and his children. 26. The servant therefore fell down and worshiped him saying lord have patience with me and i will pay thee all so the servant is asking the king to be patient with him and he is going to try to pay him all the money 27 then the lord of that servant was moved with compassion and loosed him and forgave him the debt so after 
the servant begged him for forgiveness and for the king to have patience on him the king has compassion for him and forgave him of the debt 28 but the same servant went out and found one of his fellow servants which owed him an hundred pence and he laid his and he laid hands on him and took him by the throat saying pay me that thou owest so the same servant that the king forgave him of his debt that person went to a fellow servant that owed him money now that servant is grabbing him by his throat telling him to pay him like that's crazy like the king forgave you of what you owed him but someone owes you now you are being really rude and you are not being compassionate toward the person that owes you makes sense right and that's how some people are you want mercy from other people but you don't but you are not willing to show mercy to others some people are really selfish okay I believe 29 and his fellow servant fell down at his feet and besought him saying have patience with me and I will pay thee all so that fellow servant went down to the original servants feet asking him to have mercy to have patience on him and he will pay thee all the money 30 and he would not so the original servant would not have patience with his fellow servant okay but went and cast him into prison till he should pay the debt so the original servant that owed the king money the king had compassion on the servant and forgave him of his debt now he went out and took to prison his fellow servant because the fellow servant owed him money so that is really crazy he cried for compassion to the king but someone owes him money and he does not have compassion for another person wicked you know something came to my mind when I believe I was speaking about two weeks ago someone was could have gotten me into a lot of trouble and I was thinking hey you know I should um, I had the power to get that person into trouble but I was thinking the many bad things I did when I was in sin and or the issue that I am going through now and I need mercy <laughs> for the situation that I am going through now so how can I cry out for mercy but I am willing to get another person in trouble even when they deserve it but how can I cry out for mercy when I am willing to get another person into trouble makes sense right so I have to have mercy on my enemies as well okay give me a second okay so we were at 30 now we are on 31 so when his fellow servants saw what was done they were very sorry and came and told unto their Lord all that was done so when the original servant threw his fellow servant into prison 
because that servant owed him money, the other fellow servants told the king on the original servant. Like, hey, like you forgave that servant of the debt that he owed you, but someone owed him and they was asking for mercy, but that servant threw the other servant into prison. So the other servants told the king what the original servant did. That should make sense. <laughs> 31. So when his fellow servants saw what was done, I read that. 32. Then his Lord, after that he had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgave thee all that debt because thou desirest me. 33. Shouldn't is, shouldn't is, not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee. So in 32 and 33 is saying, hey, you are a wicked servant. Like, hey, I forgave you of the debt that you owed me. You should have forgave your fellow servant of the debt that he owed you. Okay. 34. And his Lord was wroth. So his Lord was <laughs> really mad, man. <laughs> and delivered him to the tormentors till he should pay all that was due unto him. So the king... I guess he took him to prison or something like that and he was tormented until he paid all that was due unto him. So he was reaping what he had sown and if you have watched my videos, I pretty much always speak about you reap what you sow. <laughs> so many times, man, so many times. Okay. 35. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if ye from your hearts forgive not every one his brother their trespasses. Like I said, you are looking for mercy from people, but when people are looking for mercy for you or from you, you are not willing to give it. Like you want people to be nice and respectful to you, but you are really rude and crude to other people. Like you want people to treat you better than you treat people. It does not work that way. Whatever you give out, it is going to come back. So if you are crying about people being mean to you and everything like that, how about you be nice to people and do good things to people while they are doing bad things to you. I pray that makes sense. So this is the parable of the wicked servant, I guess you can call it. Unless it is called something else. I have no idea. <laughs> so this is Matthew 18, 23 through 35. God bless.